Gillespie. Rose sends it down low to Martin. Behind the goal line for Turchia. Return for Martin. For Copio on him. He gives it to Rose. The shot goes wide. Gillespie has it. Backhands the pass for Turchia. Turchia, far side. Now it comes for Gillespie. Score! Michael Gillespie takes the pass in this near faceoff circle. Three defenders, goes down. Loose puck picked up by Hunter, and he'll send it to the far side. Davis intercepts. Bethune for Briarly. Wristwatch, goal! A harmless shot from just outside the faceoff circle. If I'm not mistaken, bounced in off of Mike Davis or Bethune, but Briarly, smart play, takes the puck. Jeff has it. Look out. Lazy pass to Briarly, picked up by Martinson. Breakaway shot score. Just like that, as I just said, how well the defense were playing for Birmingham. Inside the blue line, he'll skate down low. Drops it back for Doran Birmingham. Tried to kill a penalty, puck is loose score. Unbelievable. Gets it to Romeo. Romeo ahead for Bracato. Stefan Bracato gets past Piacentini. Still has it spin away in front. There's Romeo, a shot save made, rebound, oh! score! Stefan Bracato with an excellent play to keep the puck in the zone. Spence turns away from two defenders. And that effort, that relentless pursuit of the net pays off as the shot was taken. The bounce came right to him and he had an open net to bury it. Birmingham with a huge goal here in the third period, now lead 3-2. And we talked about the importance of where you're putting the pucks on Millisec. Romeo Rich went around the near side. Rose can't clear. Kept alive by Huntsville, but now it comes to Gillespie. Gillespie score! Through the goal mouth. Played for in the near corner. Still empty net. Donnie, you score! Start the bus, baby. Five, four, three. Shot save made by Lux. And this one is over. The Birmingham Bulls, for the first time since 2019, are going to the SPHL Finals by virtue of a 5-2 win tonight over Huntsville and a 2-1 series win. Unbelievable effort by Austin Lotz in the net tonight, even down to those final 50 seconds. He made two big saves. One on the side of the net, and then that last yeah. one, even with right. four and five seconds left, Austin Lott still standing on his head. Well, according to what I was told prior to the game, I refused to talk about this, because I believe in, you, you don't touch the cup before you, before you win it. I don't believe you touch the money and count it before you win it. But I was told before the game that it's pretty much 99.9% .9 true that this is the way the finals will go. Next week, the first two games will be here in Pelham. They will take place on Thursday and Friday night. Thursday night and Friday night of next week, Birmingham versus Roanoke here at home. Then we'll go on the road for at least one game, maybe two, depending on how it goes for Birmingham at home. The next two games are scheduled Games three and four, that is, take place in Roanoke on Monday and Tuesday. And if necessary, a game five will be back here in Pelham on Thursday following that. And just before we wrap this up, Jody, I just do want to say, because we have had a lot of followers who have jumped in from various teams, from Fayetteville and from Huntsville, and I want to tell any Huntsville fans and the Bulls fans who are listening for that matter, about how well Huntsville played in this yeah, series. No I, doubt. I mentioned Millisec earlier, but Millisec and Martinson especially, yeah, like those no guys really, really had a great series. And up until the decision was made to pull Millisec when you were trailing 3-2, up until that, they were very, very, very well coached. They knew exactly how to attack Birmingham defensively and offensively, and it was working, Greg. It was working to to a T, as I see Millisec on the ice with his head hanging down. I mean, I understand why he did lose his, 
lose it a little bit after game one. He tore your locker room door up. He was so angry by slamming his stick and his body up against it. The University of Alabama hockey team locker room door was destroyed by Milosek, but there's a passion in that that's revealed. He just didn't like what happened in losing game one in overtime. Well, Jody, here's, here's how I feel about that. I never got upset. I've been there myself. I yeah. understand it. And you know what? A locker room can be repaired, but there's only one chance to go to the finals. And I'll take the Bulls going to the finals no this doubt. year over anything that ever happens in any locker room. And before we think about signing off there, I, I have to mention Craig Simchuk, head coach of the Birmingham Bulls. He's had a rough go of it the previous couple of years before this year. He's hung in there. He's done whatever needed to be done to keep this team together. Even when we were decimated by both injuries and call-ups this season, he kept this team alive, he kept this team going, and solidified home ice advantage for Birmingham by placing second place in the league. He was named coach of the year in the league for a reason. He's earned every bit of it, every one of those awards in Birmingham. As I look on the ice, the celebration after the greatest tradition in sports, the, the handshakes at center ice between two teams that were trying